Hey, what is up, you guys? My name is Jay, and today we are going to continue our adventure um, in our world of Pokemon. Last time we have chosen our uh, star Pokemon, Piplup, and we've also added our little Kaminari to the team. And today, I think we are going to be adding another addition. Um, I'll be right back after I find that Pokemon. Alright, now there is a Pokemon that we've been wanting to catch. I'm sure literally all of you could have predicted. And it's a level 4 Starly, let's go. I'm sure all of you guys could have predicted this outcome. You know, Staraptor, Luxray combination at the very beginning, early stages of the game. Pretty typical. But, you know, it is, they are some pretty good Pokemon, so might as well take advantage of the situation. Alright, it looks like we have caught our Starly. Now we need to give it a nice name for this little fella. What would be a good name for Starly? Hmm. Um, yeah, we'll be giving it a nickname. I think uh, this will be a pretty good nickname. And I think this will be a good name for a little Starly. Uh, we're going to be calling it Falco. So welcome to the team, Falco. Falco has been added to your party. Alright, now that we have gotten more Pokemon like Dawn suggested, let us go to the Pokemon school. Is this the school? Yes, this is the school. That is Barry up there. Hey Jay, today did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After this, it's the trainer jobs to avoid their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Jay, today, what brings you here? You got something for me? You delivered a parcel. So, what is this? Score! It's a map town. Or a town map, sorry. Huh, why are there two in here? I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Jay, today, you take one. You tamed a town map. Nice! Hmm, well, according to the town map, I guess... Orberg City is where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it'll be perfect for raising a Pokemon I just caught. Well, I'm on the o I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer of all time. See you around. Well, sorry to crush your hopes and dreams, Barry, but that title's gonna belong to me. Let me just save the game real quick because I don't think uh, I just don't want to lose my file. And let's see what she has to say. You just became a trainer, didn't you? Oh, okay, yeah, I forgot. They're not really... I believe we could battle them. Let's see what this kid is talking. Nope, okay. So, our current team consists of... Oh, wow, we need a... Yeah, we definitely need to, um, you know, heal up our Pokemon. So, I think we're gonna let Kaminari take the lead on this one. Alright, show me what you got, Kaminari. Yes, let's go and battle. You are challenged by school kid Harrison. Okay, so this smart little fella has an Abra. I think it's very fitting. Let's see what our Kaminari could do. Go intimidate that Abra. Even though it's a special attacker. Alright, let's shock it. Charge beam? That thing has charge beam? Okay, yeah, it did nothing. It's fine. Took it like a champ. Come on, show them a real thunder sh Oh wow, that did no Okay, it paralyzed it. That's good, that's good. That is good. Alright, um, you know what? Let's try a tackle because honestly that didn't really do much. Alright, Kaminari, do some da- oh, Okay, yeah, we definitely- oh, Okay, that was a critical hit. Okay, that was a critical hit, no wonder. Hmm. I do think that Shinx or their whole evolutionary line um, is more of a physical attacker than a special one. So we gotta kind of keep that in mind when we're trying to, 
Level it up some moves. Okay, nice. Falco learned quick attack. We're definitely gonna be needing some of that. Oh snap, how is it then? Alright, on to our next battle. Hope you guys are having a uh, great day today. You know, right now I'm still on winter break before I head back to school. And honestly, yeah, this winter break has been um pretty chilling. You know, just catching up on my sleep, hanging out with family and friends and whatnot. And yeah, I very much enjoy my breaks. This time around, it was a little more peaceful. Um, nothing too crazy going on. Just living at home, enjoying some video games, maybe kind of getting ready to plan my future out because I will be graduating very, very soon. And yeah, honestly, I have no idea what it is I want to do yet, but, um, you know, I just figured I start, you know, kind of documenting what it is that I do, you know, just for my very old self in the future to look back at to I don't know maybe tell other people who are interested in like hey this is what I did when I was growing up you know just playing video games you know not having much of a life sometimes but you know video games are always good you know it's very relaxing you know I don't really think of video games of as a hobby but it's definitely fun to engage one and what uh, indulge in once in a while Man, I cannot speak today. It is pretty early here in California. It's a little gloomy, but good thing the game always has sunshine and rainbows. All right, let's see what this little gentleman has to say. Oh, are you a Pokemon trainer? But you don't have a Poketch yet? Poketch is short for Pokemon Watch. Oh my, you are a rare case indeed. I see, I invented and now manufacture Poketches. Not only that, I am now conducting the Pokage uh, promotional campaign. All you have to do is find three clowns in Jubilife City. And if you can find them, I'll give you my very own uh, Pokage. Or your very own. Okay, so we've got to find these three clowns. So we found one of them. Now I'm just going to click yes. Okay. Here we go. We got our first coupon. Yeah, I should probably slow it down and actually read what they're saying. Just so that I could uh, be totally immersed in the story. Hi, I'm a Pokish campaign clown. He, my, let's roll out my question. Can a Pokemon hold an item? I believe they can. Ding ding. You're absolutely correct. A Pokemon may hold a single item. Some items become effective as soon as they're held by a Pokemon. Berries are eaten by Pokemon as necessary during a battle. Here you go, your Pokish coupon. So that's our third coupon. But we still gotta find coupon number two. And I believe he's the... Ah, here he is. Now let's talk to him. Come on, talk. Hi, I'm Pokish Campaign Clown. Let's roll out my question. Just like Pokemon, do moves of Pokemon also have types? Yes. Ding ding. You're absolutely correct. If a Pokemon type matches the type of move it uses, that move is made much more powerful. Wait, hold up. If a Pokemon's type matches the type of a move it uses, I did not know that. I genuinely did not know that. I thought it was irrelevant, but I guess we learned something new today. No, that's very interesting. All right, let's go back and talk to this bearded guy. Okay, let me count your coupons. I'll just pull up my pocket and one, two, three, bravo. I say bravo. And in refer for these coupons, I present you with this Pokemon watch or pocket for short. You received a pocket. You can add apps to your pocket to make it more versatile. Press the R button and try it out. All right, the pocket, yeah, it's going to be something I don't think we're going to be using too often. Let's just explore it a little bit. <clears throat> so we got the time, we got a calculate tour, we got the amount of steps that we've taken, we got our damaged Pokemon. Yeah, that's what a Poke is for. Oh, there you go. Okay, now let's go to the Pokemon Center and heal up our Pokemon real quick. Hey, Nurse Joy, how you doing? Good, good. You know, you want to go out with me sometimes? You know, I'm free. I got three Pokemons already. And whoa there, we're only 10 years old. Okay, honestly, not gonna lie, that Loki kind of came from this other um, channel that I used to watch. I think his name was um, Purple Rodri. 
And then whenever I go into Pokemon Centers now, I just hear his voice in the head and just, you know, trying to like woo in the Nurse Joy. So maybe, who knows, I'll get more, I'm going to try the same thing and maybe I'll get more luck around that, I don't know. Okay, um, I kind of forgot what we need to do next. Uh, let's see our Pokemon real quick. So our Kaminari is up in the front. I believe now we have to go our way to Orberg City so that we could battle berry this is gonna be our very first battle hi aj today tell me you got a little tougher me do you even need to ask of course I got tougher come on let's battle it out all right so here is our very first pokemon battle with not berry elias i'm just so used to calling him berry because i watched the pokemon anime and it's a good thing that we sent out our kaminari because it's gonna roast this feather chicken Alright, Kaminari, show that little Starly what you could do. Oh, dang. It's a uh, level 7. I think uh, Elias' Starly is significantly stronger than ours, but it's okay. It's okay. Use Thunder Shock. Really? That didn't kill it? I thought that would kill it for sure. Don't get cocky, kid. This isn't over yet. I know it's not over. I know. Use tackle. It's not gonna do jack to our little Kaminari. We're gonna shock that bird into submission. All right. Now I fainted. All right. Bring out that Chimchar. Oh no. It has a turt wig. Hey, right. It has a turt wig. I forgot that Chimchar. Um. I wanna see. It does not have. You know what, let's just keep our Shinx out. Our um, Starly does not have any other moves that it can use, so we're just going to spam Tackle. Wow, that did absolutely nothing. Jeez, what does Leer do? Defense stat? Yeah, we're going to need to lower that defense stat a little bit. Jesus, that Turtwig is a strong cookie. All right, Kaminari, please just tank a couple of more uh, tackles. Hopefully, Turtwig uses something else, like Withdrawal or something. No, stop using Tackle. It's going to kill us. Oh, wow. Okay, I do not want our Kaminari to die. So, I am going to send out our little Mumble. Let's have a... Um, Battle of the starter Pokemon. Let's. I really hope it doesn't start using Razor Leaf. Wow. Yeah. If we didn't switch out, we would have died. Okay. Since his defense is down, let's start pounding this Turtwig. That still did nothing. Dang. But we could definitely win this battle as long as Turtwig keep using Tackle. So we'll be good here. Okay. He's a withdrawal. All right. That's fine. His defense is gonna go up, but that's totally fine. His defense stats is still a little weakened. Yep, your HP is low. Please don't use a potion. I really hope uh, Elias doesn't use a potion. Yes, keep withdrawing. That's fine. Come on, Piplup. Make it. Yes, alright, we have won this battle. Whew. That was a close one, actually. We can go back to the Pokemon Center. And we've gained a lot of levels. Nice. Our Mumble grew to level 10. Our Falco is level 7. Nice, nice, nice. You defeated Pokemon Trainer Elias. What just happened? I lost? No. You're going to be losing a lot more than that, son. What? What do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. This is the last time I'll ever lose. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. The first thing I'm going to do is take on Orberg City uh, Pokemon Gym. I'm going to toughen up for that totally. Alright, well you go do that, Alliance, while I heal my Pokemon yet again because of that brutal battle. So, Hayden Joy, couldn't wait to see you, you know. I wasn't just purposely damaging my Pokemon so that you could nurse it back to health. You know, if you're free sometime this afternoon... Oh, no? Okay, well, that's totally fine. We hope to see you again. Who's we? We? You have a boyfriend? 
Because I definitely don't see a chance with you. Okay, whoa, let us not get too ahead of ourselves. We gotta remind ourselves that we are 10 in this game. And there are a couple of trainers. And you know what? I kind of do want to take them on. I'm going to level up our Falco because we're not going to be using him for our very first gym. I'm just going to be spamming with Piplup. And I guess our second gym is when we're going to be using that Piplup a little more. But for now, let's catch a Starly up on some levels. Or our Falco, excuse me. Let's go with the quick attack. Use a growl, yes, keep growling, that's fine. Use defense one up. That is totally fine because our Starly will be able to knock you. There you go. All right. Nice. We are gaining some serious levels. I forgot what the um. Oh, it's Zubat. We're gonna need a Kaminari for that. I'm gonna shock that bat. Alright, send out that Zubat. Honestly, I was considering catching a Zubat and then evolving it into a Crobat for this adventure, but I opted not to, only because I just think Staraptor looks infinitely cooler than a Crobat. And I know I said I wanted to kind of change up our team a little bit, and I haven't really done a great job with that so far. But, um, you know, who knows? Honestly, to me, I think changing from a Chimchar to a Piplup was a big deal. Because, you know, I've always used Gyarados or Floatzel as my water type. And, you know, the, most people choose Chimchar because there aren't really that many uh, fire types to go around. Um, the only other fire type here is like a Magmortar, maybe, and a Rapidash. Magmort is fine, but I just kind of forgot how that worked. Like, I know you need, like, an item, and maybe you trade, or maybe you just give the item an involved. I forgot. But that's kind of a hassle, and, you know, so a lot of people don't offer that, and, you know, who wants a fire horse when you can get a fire monkey? Like, a fire monkey is just infinitely cooler, well, at least in my opinion. So, you know, that's why I always chose Chimchar. Turtwig, you know, that's when I, I chose Turtwig when I was like really young, just when I was replaying it, I kind of wanted a different experience and I chose Turtwig, and I don't know, those ice types just really didn't do my little Torterra any justice, and it was pretty slow too. So yeah, that's why I always chose Shimchar, and I don't think I've ever chosen Piplup, man, I probably have, I just don't remember, um... But yeah, I mean, I'm excited for this little change. Quite significant in terms of team composition. I don't think we're going to be adding any fire types to our team. But, you know, if you have any recommendations that you'd like to see, then please feel free to let me know in the comments. I will be reading all comments because, honestly, I don't think more than 10 of you guys are going to be watching this. But, you know, that's fine. This is just purely for me to have fun, and hopefully you guys will also have fun throughout this adventure. Alright, so a female level 4 Bidoof is going to get absolutely booty whacked by our Starly. I do wonder um, what other Pokemon that we should have. To you know, honestly, we already have three Pokemon. I feel like that's enough for right now. Let's just focus on continuing with our adventure. Hmm. Okay, Falco finally learned um, a flying type move. That is going to be good. All right, Kaminari. Let's roast some more chickens. Speaking of chickens, uh, I've been really wanting to eat some fried chicken ever since I got back, but I never had the chance, and right now, 
I'm like doing this dieting thing where I don't eat for like a couple of days so that all the waste and toxins in my body like go out. Um, it's kind of like a cleansing thing. It's uh, not pretty um, in terms of, you know, just holding out in frustration because you want to eat really badly. Not necessarily because you're hungry, but you know, because you just want to eat. Like I feel like most people these days probably eat not because they're hungry, but they just want to. Or maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. I definitely eat because I want to, not necessarily because I'm hungry. Or maybe I'm hungry, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but right now, like I'm not necessarily hungry. This is like my third day of just not eating anything. And I don't know, I, I don't feel hungry. I just want to eat something for the sake of eating. You know? So, yeah, I've been craving a lot of foods, but I need to hold off for maybe like another week. So, yeah, alright, we're gonna run away from this fight. Um, just so that we can kind of progress with this game a little faster. Oh, wow, that. Okay. I guess it's good that our Pokemon is getting some XPs. Uh, we do need to gain uh, significant levels. Honestly, I don't really know what level the first gym is i think it's like 12 maybe or 14 i'm not sure it's around that level so hopefully we'll get our pokemon to that level soon but right now i don't think our piplup's gonna have too much trouble like it's a water type it's gonna be fine yeah mumble learn charm okay Fair enough. Alright, you know what? Let's just take on this trainer just for the XP levels. <clears throat> I don't really want to battle wild Pokemon and grind for XP. I don't really want to come back. So, yeah, our Pokemon journey is going to be a little longer. But, you know, if you were to play Pokemon alongside me, I guess this is exactly what you guys would probably be doing I'm not sure how you guys play I'm the type to go through all trainers just so that I could get the XP points needed to level up my Pokemon I think it's just fast that way so yeah let's use the quick attack in case that star uses quick attack but we gotta be quicker and attackier right, we're growing some good levels our Falco finally caught up in levels Bidoof uh, let's use our Piplup. Let's use our little Mumble. I keep thinking Bidoof is a normal water type, but I'm pretty sure Bidoof is just a normal type, right? It doesn't get that water type. Yeah, I don't think it's a water type. I'm pretty sure it only gets its water typing after it evolved, which is a little perplexing because that thing is clearly a beaver. And you think a beaver is more watery than it is normal. But hey, I'm not the one that created this game. I'm just the guy that plays it. Who am I? To judge. Alright, we defeated more Pokemon trainers. I lost la la la. Yeah, give us the money. Hey, let's see if there's anything worth... Aww. Oh. Yeah, we're definitely going to be running away. I'm pretty sure... I thought there was going to be an icon. I do want to just check quickly. Um, let's run away from this battle. Oh man, that's a juicy level 4. In the earlier routes, whenever I see a level 4 Pokemon, it's just... Oh yeah, okay, there is a Pokemon. Yeah, whenever I see a juicy level 4, i just so tempted to catch it. Alright, I don't want to encounter more Pokemon, so let's just use the Repel really quickly. Nice, use that Repel. Because <clears throat> we're going to be going in the cave too, so I don't want to encounter any Geodudes or some shit. Oh, look at this jolly old guy. Look over there. Oh, you're so pretty new, right? Oh, but it's good. You're a new fellow friend of Pokemon. So let me make a gift of these technical machines to you. You obtained TM-98. What's that? Rock Smash. For your information, when you use a technical machine to break... Uh, teach your Pokemon a move, that TM will then break. So think very carefully. 
I also added a new feature to your Pokech Rookie Trainer. It's the Hidden Moves app. Use Rock Smash from your Pokech and a wild Pokemon will get rid of your boulders on your path. But use this hidden move in the field. You'll first need to obtain the first badge. I'm looking forward to seeing your growth. Okay. Let's get to me. What's up here? Nothing's up there. Uh, yeah, we'll battle. But I'm gonna bring out my Mumble up in case they have rock types I don't want my Starly to get beaten up to a pulp crushed by rocks oh it's a Shinx, oh fantastic that is not good okay, no, it's okay, our Mumble could take it our Mumble is a strong Piplup let's use a water gun all right, give that cat a bath. All right, that's good, that's good. And is using tackle. Clearly, this Pokemon trainer has not gotten to Pokemon school because this Shinx would have learned Thundershock by now. I'm sorry you have such a terrible trainer, Shinx. You could have maybe had a chance in that battle. Yes, we definitely did. We can't even call her a trainer. Insufficiently raised? Pfft, dang. You know what I'm talking about. All right, one more trainer to go, and then we're finally there at, uh, I forgot what that's called, Oberg, Orberg City? Yeah, I think it's Orberg. Badoo. Wow, it's like they knew I'd be coming here with Pipla, but it's, it's weird. Okay it's, okay, it's only level five. We can definitely pound this whole new one. Yee. Stun Spore. Ah, oh, Stun Spore. That's like one of my least favorite uh, status conditions. Alright, you can absorb my energy. That's fine. Just please move. Piplup, move. Oh, wait, no. We're going to have to use Pound again. Because it's not going to kill it. Oh, okay. Please move just once more. Just move once more. Yes, absorb our HP, I don't care. Just move Piplup. Yes! Alright, now we got that out of the way. I'm definitely uh, switching Piplup for someone else. Psyduck, oh that's perfect. Really a Psyduck? I don't remember a Psyduck this early in the game. Huh. That's so weird. Okay. Intimidate, yes. Cloud nine, well, there was no weather to begin with. All right, let's shock this duck. Nice, one hit wonder. All right, now we can finally progress with the game. Give us our money, we want that money. All right, Orberg City, and we have another person. You can have a single gym badge. Other trainers will look down on you like you're a total noob, right? So I'll show you where the town's Pokemon gym is. Oh, well, you don't have to do that, really. You really don't. Not like there's a lot of things in this. Oh, huh, there's someone there. All right, let's talk to our allies. Huh? <laughs> oh, it's you, Jay, today. You're finally here. You're slow, like always. You're so slow, the... Gym leader is long gone now. He said he had to go to, uh, oh yeah, an Orbrook mine. I got my badge ready, so it's no big deal to me, but... Okay, so it looks like we have to go to a mine of some sort. The repel wore off. Yeah, I'm going to a Pokemon Center again. Um, just so that I can heal my Pokemon. And, ooh, those joints. Three times in one day, seems like you can't get enough- Oh, I'm sorry. That was a different nurse joy, wasn't it? Yes, please heal up our Pokemon. So we could use some good, juicy healing. Yeah, okay, well, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna- I'm just not ready to date yet. Uh, maybe in eight years. Alright, so let's go down to the Orberg Mine. Wow, this place is a lot more spacious than I thought it was. I know I've played this game um, before, but I haven't played it in a 
long time, so I kind of forgot um, what the game kind of has to offer, but yeah, okay, let's just make sure that our, oh no, we ran into a Poke, is a Zubat? God! I'm just gonna be running away. Oh wow, it's actually level seven. Jeez. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna take it down, just so that we could get a little bit of XP. Uh, this shouldn't take too long. Oh, that supersonic is going to be annoying. Piplup, you are the strongest Pokemon I have. You could definitely not hit yourself. Yes, bro, our Mumble is actually coming to clutch. Being able to move with paralysis and supersonic doing nothing. Yes, sir. Our mumble is definitely the MVP for today's episode. Alright, let's go down here and find our gym leader that was so weak that lost to Elias. Oh man, I should have bought more repels. Here is the little sucker we've been looking for. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hit and move Brock Smash, get rid of the big boulder uh, blocking it away. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. Well, honestly, I don't think that's going to be a very hard thing. Um, I don't think that's going to be that hard of a task. Alright, so we need to find ourselves an escape road. Let's talk to this guy see if we can battle him. Alright, in that case, we will be battling him. Rooker Colin. Geodude. It's going to be no match for a Piplup. So, rock. And ground tide. Oh, or maybe it's just a rock tide. I forgot. I, I want to say rock and ground though. Yeah, I want to say rock and ground. I, I don't think it's going to be just a rock tide. Who knows? Alright, Mumble Blue to level 13. It wants to use bite. Okay, yes, we will definitely be teaching uh, Mumble Bites. We need some better moves up in here. Alright, our Kaminari is coming to be a good- Oh, Onyx! Yo, we need- we need our Mumble for this. No way the other two Pokemon are going to be handling Onyx. I uh, keep using Water Gun. I really thought that Piplup was going to learn Bubble or Bubble Beam first. Maybe it's because I've been watching too much Pokemon anime. I just don't see- I've never seen a Piplup in anime use Water Gun. Only Bubble Beam.
Alright, let's get out of here. Let's use our escape rope. Good thing we have one. Alright. So let's heal up our Pokemon. Just real quick. Helona's Joy. Yes, I know we come to the Pokemon Center very often, but my babies need a little healing. Alright, thanks for the bow. And I think we are just going to end it here for today. Um, it was a pretty long video and I just want to kind of keep these short. Next time we will definitely be heading the Orberg Gym and move on to the second town. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.